Hi everyone. I know it's been a while. I actually filmed the video before this, but I have yet to edit it. That's part of my problem is that I get lazy to film. And then after I film, I get lazy to edit. <laughs> so uh, my good friend, Karamia Clarissa has been nagging me <laughs> to film my subscription boxes that I had ordered last year. Yes, they've been sitting on the floor in my craft room waiting to be filmed, waiting to be used. And I've suddenly gotten back into, um, you know, doing my collage junk journal stuff. And so I figured, okay, this is a good time now for me to actually do the unboxings and be able to actually to start using the stuff. So let's get started. So this box right here, um, I'll, I just randomly pulled one of the boxes. I actually started filming this video and then my, my battery died. <laughs> So it's better that it died in the beginning rather than halfway through. So I'm going to try to speed through as much as I can because I've got four of these core create boxes and then a whole bunch of the, um, what do you call it? Of the R Atelier boxes. I don't think that I ever filmed. So we're going to go through those as well. Or actually, you know what? I'll make it a separate video. So then that way, this is not like some 45 minute long video. So this first box is from, look at that, a year ago, February, 2023, ancient Egypt. Okay. So I, like I said, I had already started filming this. Um, I knew that I had not filmed it because when I, um, opened the box, the sticker was still intact on the tissue paper. So, um, now I don't know what I'm going to do with this because it's so specific. It's not like, you know, like in terms of a theme, it's not a common theme that you can use when you're doing, um, junk journaling and stuff. I mean, this is ancient Egypt, you know, and I just love the images of the hieroglyphics. I hope I'm in focus. There we go. I mean, with the gold foil. So actually it's a combination of vellum and sticker or washi. So this is the vellum. So it's a really nice quality vellum. I mean, yeah. And like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but um, I just couldn't resist. I just love this. I'm, I don't think my mom's been to Egypt. I know she's been to Jerusalem, to Israel, and I want to say that she's been to Jordan, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to ask her because, well, right now she's in the Philippines for a month. So when she gets back, I'll ask her because if she's been to Egypt, then I can definitely use this stuff and make her a photo album, um, you know, kind of scrapbook her album for her. So there we go. now it's a repeat of everything, but like it's in washi form. Okay. So let's get that back in the packaging. I'm not one to leave stuff just out. I like to put it back in the packaging and I hope my audio is working because I finally found my, um, wireless mic. Okay. So we've got, Oh, I love this, the stamp ISIS. One of my favorite Egyptian gods, goddesses. Uh, I'm no, I know this is going to date me, but in the 80s, when I was young, I used to watch the TV show. What was it called? Was it called Isis? I can't remember. But I just remember, yeah, it was a woman who was, I believe she was an arche archaeologist, and she had a necklace. And she just had to, all she had to say was, oh, mighty Isis, and she would become I guess, Isis, she would have her powers and stuff. And, you know, she fought crime or whatnot, that whole bit. Because I I don't know if it was before or after Wonder Woman. Because I did watch Wonder Woman. That was obviously, that was my favorite show. Linda Carter was, oh, she was amazing in that show. So, let's, I like to save this because I have a washi album. I don't have it here right now. But I do like to um, stick that in. Sorry for the crinkly noise here. But for some of you that like the whole ASMR thing, there you go. Okay, so we've got our washi. Let's see if it focus. And, it's, you know, I like the fact that she gives you a fair amount of washi. I, I don't like it when, I mean, you're paying more than $30 for these boxes. You should be able to get a ton. Great. I can't peel it off right now, but there you go. 
I want to say that that's Osiris or I can't remember the name. I know, I think it starts with an O. So that's what that washi looks like. And then we have another one here. I'm not going to open this one, but this one is just all hieroglyphics. Okay. Got another stamp. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It looks like a, maybe like a tablet or something. And let's see what we got here. Oh, it's clear stamps. Okay. It's nice that she's even got the envelopes to match the theme as well. So you know what's inside, you know? And I guess those images on the out, yep, images on the outside are what the stamps are on the inside. Look at that. I like that. This one with the pharaoh and that one. This reminds me of Stargate, the movie. <laughs> All right, and what else do we have here? It's the last thing. It's, um, oh, something came off here. Um, so it's, a, a, you know, stickers. I don't even know where that is. That's weird. Either way. All right, so that was the first box, Ancient Egypt. Let's put bottom there. Not bad. I mean, the fact that I got two rubber stamps here on blocks, it's not bad. I like that. Okay. So we got one box down. So I will be able to... Oh, it's got my address. Sorry. And look at that. This actually is unopened. So I don't know where my other cutter is. That's weird. Okay, so I have my ceramic cutter here, which looks like it broke. No wonder why. It's not very sharp. Uh, well, it's okay if the cutter broke. I mean, I think I got these from Stationery Pal a long time ago, and it was probably part of their whole 99 cent store thingy. So I wouldn't go with a ceramic one. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where my box cutter was. Oops. Okay. Oh, I hope I didn't show my address on there. Um, cause then I'm going to have to figure out how to blur it out. All right. So let me open that off camera. Okay. So here we go. So this was March, 2023 vintage gardens. Oh, perfect. Because I'm totally into, um, that right now. And I love the paper. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. All right. So no block stamps this time, but we have two washi, um, here. So the first one is, let's do this one. It looks like it is just a, a, you know, like a fence or a gate with the, um, leaves. It's nice. And then we've got this one right here. This one's got different designs on it. Actually, this one I will open. So that way we can see what this is. I need to get another trash can bag. To put all my stuff in. Okay, we're gonna save that and stick that there. Actually, I'll just put that here. Oh, I hate that. Don't you hate it when you're taking that stuff off and the static, it just clings to you and it's hard to take off. Um, so it's, difficult sometimes also to find where the, where the washi begins. There. I don't have much nails right now. And I probably should have lotioned up too. Anyways. Okay, here we go. Try not to tear it. Oh, so it's garden designs. Look at that. The maze. 
Oh, I love this. This is nice. Nice. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. I'm pretty sure these are the clear stamps. It's beautiful. All right, let's just cut it because I'm impatient to have to tear that. There we go. She shouldn't seal it. She really should just leave it open so it's easy to slide in and out. Okay. So just like on the envelope, we've got, oh, okay. So we don't have that. All right. So here we go. That's what it looks like. I hope it's in focus. It's still beautiful. I like it. Definitely like this collection so far. So what do we have here? This is probably um, paper and, oh, it's more stamps. They're clear foam. Oh, that's even better. I prefer the foam or the, um, you know, the block stamps over the acrylic. I mean, even though the acrylic are easier to store, they don't stamp, I find, as good as like the foam and the block ones. Well, basically like the, the red rubber. All right. Oh. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. I'm trying to stay in focus here. That is really nice. I love this. Might have to go back on her website and see what stuff I missed out on, you know? Um, although can't really shop right now because uh, Monday I'm going to be turning in my notice at work. Um, yeah, I need to find a new job. I've been there for four years and it's time. All right, so this does not say what it is. Here we, uh, it just says the theme. Oh, it's cards, okay. Well, I'm only gonna pull one. Well, man, these bags are really tight. There we go. So they're cards on really nice, thick cardstock. Okay, so look at that garden designs. And then we've got this one here. I wonder what it's modeled after. What great house. Oh, there we go. It says what house that one too. I'm going to look them up and see if they're real houses. That's one of my um, bucket lists is to be able to do a tour of England and visit a lot of the, you know, the great houses. Um, Cause I just, you know, I want to see the design. I want to see the, the gardens. I've always wanted to do, do that, even before the whole Bridgerton, you know, um, and Downton Abbey stuff became, made it really popular. Okay. I'm not going to put that back in the plastic right now. Okay. And so we've got sticker sheets. Oops. Dark gardens. And what's this? more and i think that's it nope we've got one more here which is feels like it's tissue almost yeah so it's just a large sheet just really pretty that'll look really nice in the as a backdrop to something all right so we're going to move on to the next box. Like I said, trying to power through here. So I've got four boxes and I don't really want this video to be long. Oops. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so this one is obviously opened. Maybe I have filmed this one. This is April 2023. Uh, folklore and witchcraft. No, I don't think I did. Because I remember when I got this box, I opened the box, but I did not take anything out. And this had torn, probably in shipment. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do this. All right. So the first thing we got here is a stamp. And then another stamp. And we have a tin. Herbal Magic sticker block box. Yeah. All right. So it's a nice little tin. Let's, let's see what's inside. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. So we have little stickers. Got various plants, bottles. We've got a skull. <laughs> what does that say? Let's see. I think I even saw a snail there. It says magical herbs and druid. Okay. And then we have three. Wow. Three sets of washi. Um, this first one here. Hold on. I'm going to get a bag because I don't want any of this plastic stuff to get everywhere. And it'll be easier for me to clean up. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's get all the trash. Put it to the side here. Okay. So this first one here, the big one, Oh, see there, it's sticking in my hands. All right. And let's find where it begins. Right here. Oops. This is more paper than it is like, like washi, you know, like Japanese washi. Probably because of the way that, oh shoot, I tore it. Because of what's printed on it. Yeah, look at that. See, that's the thing I hate about this type of washi. First, it's, it's really sticky, which is a good thing sometimes, but then sometimes it's not because then it's difficult to like tear off. And then, you know, when you're tearing it off, then it splits and then you're just like, ah, oh, wasted more washi. Um, so when it does that, that's kind of a sign that it's not good quality washi, or at least the paper. See, look at that. I'm trying to pull it and it's all tearing. In pieces again. Look at ah, that's annoying. Okay, here we go. Up, oh, see, that's just not a good sign. Yeah, and it's I'm tearing it. It's still coming apart. I'm trying to keep it intact. Okay, there we go. So, I hope that's in focus. <laughs> it's kind of hard because um, I have to touch the damn screen. Let me tear, cut that off. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. Oh, this one thing I hate about this camera. Okay. So we got that. Not bad. Oh, see, look at that. It tore right, it tore right there. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. Okay. I'm not even going to bother <laughs> to open these right now. So this one is gold foiled. Hopefully it's not as bad as this one right here. 
the one that I just opened. And then we've got this one too. I think I have it upside down, right? Yeah. Okay. And what else we got here? We have stickers, folklore stickers, like look like stamps. What is this? Wow, this is like really, this is almost like on photo paper, like matte photo paper. It's really, really hard. This would be nice, I guess, for like framing because they're huge. If you're into that. But see, sometimes with Cora Creates, you get a lot of stuff and then sometimes you don't get a lot, you know? I mean, it's all right. I'm not displeased. Oh, got my address on there again. Okay, now we've got... Oh gosh, I see some other boxes at the bottom. Oh my God, maybe it's more than four boxes. Okay, so we have May 2023 here, Bees and Insects. Okay. I mean, I'll have to give Cora props. Presentation is so nice. All right, so we've got two wooden stamps, first one here. And then the second one, oh, I love this. I'm not even gonna bother to open these. So the first um, washi that we have is like that, uh, what do you call this? The PET or PET um, tape, you know, the clear ones, which I kind of hate because they are so hard to pull apart. Um, I have this roll here that I think I got from Shein or Temu, I can't remember. And I haven't even opened it yet because the last one that I got, I was just so pissed off because like I said, it's so hard to pull apart. I don't know how other people are able to do it. Um, it would be nice if maybe they just would cut the edges. So then that way it's just easier to find it and then just pull it off. So then we have this one right here and these are like in, I need to start getting closer in frames. Looks like they're moths, right? So this is probably some clear stamps. Yep. Let's cut it because I'm not going to tear it up. Where is it? Oops. There we go. All right. So just like on the outside, you have the image and then here are the stamps. So let's put it up here. Is that the right way? Or is it backwards? There we go. So I was wondering why it was so light. So that's what it looks like. Hmm. Why does, okay, that one's big, but this one is really small. Or rather, I mean, really big, but which one is it? I don't even see it. That's kind of weird that it's not, it's not on here. Oh wait, there it is, but it's small. I would have liked it to be that big. Okay, so we got the stamps and then let's pull this out. I'm gonna reuse all of this tissue because it's just too pretty not to. Okay, so we've got stickers, insect stickers. Okay. And then we have more stickers. Oh, I like these, the dark ones. An insect archive. And it's, oh, it's just like that other one. They're like on a very uh, thick, yeah. It's actually a glossy cardstock. So these are good for framing as well, you know, to decorate. Oh, that one's nice. Okay. All right, so that's been four boxes and I still spy two more underneath this pile of artilliers. So let me get to them. Maybe I have filmed them. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I think I have. 
Yeah, see, this is January. I might have filmed it, but we'll just go ahead and go through it. Shoot, put it all together. Maybe not, because look, it's everything is still intact. Oh, this is gorgeous. So, Enchanted Forest. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that. This is nice. Oh, okay, it's that type. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this one, you got to pull it apart. The images are not pre-cut. Um, and then we've got, oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. It's the same pattern. I love it. Okay, what else we got here? A sticker book. That's new. I've never seen her do this, and it's all bound. Oh, wow. This is nice. Oh, she should do this more often instead of like, you know, individual like sticker flakes and stuff. Oh, yeah. And look at that. This is what I'm talking about with these um, clear, you know, washi tapes. If it would be cut pre-cut like that, it would just make it so much more easier. And then we've got regular stickers here on like vellum almost. Uh, this is whole page is a sticker. Yeah, this is a great idea. You know, and then we've got, these are cards, guardian of the forest, the forest jewel, swarm protector of the forest skies, the griffin. We've got a blank one, whisper of the forest, a fairy, another blank one, another blank one, another blank one. Okay. And then I think these are stamps. Oh, no, I have opened this. So maybe I have filmed the video, but who knows? Okay, so then we've got that. That's going to be really pretty on the outside of like a notebook or, you know, um, a junk journal. Okay, so let's put that one back. I honestly don't remember filming it. And there is one more. Oh my goodness. I wonder what month and year this is. I think I do remember <laughs> this is 2022 writers and artists. Yeah, I do remember re um, doing a video on this. So you can just look back on the core create videos that I've done. So yeah, those, there you go, Clarissa, I filmed them. I'm like looking around my room right now to be sure that I don't have any extra boxes that I haven't um, filmed yet. And yeah, I don't see any. So now I'm going to go ahead and film the Aratelier ones. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.